check that out for a stunning morning. Sun's just rising over there. We're on the side of the hill. So we thought we'd come back up. The well's just there. Pillbox is just there. And last time we was up here, we had a, a few nice finds. So we're back up here again. I'll give you a rundown. We're going to be using on the settings down the Gamma Ace Apex. We have got the uh, Double D Raider coil on. But we're going to be giving it a go through the... Uh, bottom part of this grass and as I say we will end up in the bottom field so let's do chat and let's get on see what we can't find and I'll catch you at the first all right so on to our first target now I knew this was going to be a little bit of lead I know the apex well enough I know the tones just a tiny little bit of scrap lead there. Now I'll leave that there for a second and I'll quickly run you down on the settings I'm using today. Now, I'm in custom mode. So I'm going to be using this mode. I, I use this mode a lot when I'm out. So I'm stuck it in custom mode. And in custom mode, it's notched off to 40. So what I've done is I've notched on an extra four. So we're notched off to 20. And we are sensitivity, one from top, volume eight. The iron volume I do have on zero. There's not a lot of iron in this field, so I do always have it on zero in here. Multi frequency mode, channel five. Now, if you get a bit of interference or your headphones keep disconnecting, just change the channel. Sometimes it can be overhead power cables. It also could be your mobile phone. So try that. Uh, that's the settings I like to run it in. I ground balance it every half an hour because we're on the side of a hill, so we're using double D radio coil as well. But yeah, so yeah, every half an hour or so I ground balance it just to keep it sort of like how I like it, and that was the first target, a bit of lead. Well, I want to return just here. Now, that 77, jumping slightly into the 80s, and then it grunts out slightly. It's either a can, or there's a, a bit of iron around whatever target there is there. So, right, let's dig that out. Oh, just as I thought, two tones there. Now this, bit of iron was just underneath it now this looks like one of them things that you're on top of the house tells you which direction the wind's coming from that's what I think that could be farmers uh dad's house used to be just there on the side but well, it wasn't really much of a side over there it's quite flat over that side but his house was just there but yeah that was the uh the irony tone and then you had this just a crushed up looks like a bit of a crushed up can of some kind but yeah, that's what it was, but as you see there, it's it was the tone, the way it was grunting as it was coming back with the coil. So yeah, there you have it. Whatever that is, no idea. Oh, 60s. Now, it sort of kind of like, because I mean, I can see where it is, it's just there on the wall. Now, with the apex, I mean, I was following it through. It seemed quite, uh, quite long. First of all, ah, it's going to be another bit of cam because I just dug a bit of cam right next to it, but it ain't. Check this out. A little key. Right, I wonder what that was for. Looks quite old though. Really nice tone it was giving off. And a nice little key that. Don't mind finding things like that. As I say, we're just going to stick going to the side of the hill and back over this way. And then coming back over. And we're just going to stick around here. Not bad so far. Now we're getting a few jumpy tones. That's definitely a jumpy one that. I mean you can walk around. Probably look on target a bit better. Yeah, let's see. Alright. I think that's going to be a bit of iron. Sounds like a bit of iron to me. Just got a kind of tone to it, but we'll find out. Dig it out. Right, didn't really have to dig it out. Just see it as soon as I turn the cloud over. So as of that, I think that's just a uh, 18th century now. I don't think it's any late in 18th century, I don't think. Really, really big now. Look at the size of that. So there's definitely some sort of building on here. Just gonna keep hunting around. Yeah, nice little find. Uh, get a few signals from time to time. This one's jumping all over the place. Right, as you see there, that was jumping quite 
sort of like between the numbers between 50s, 70s, and then got down to 40s. What's chances of this? 20 pence piece. Must be where people are coming up here and sitting where the uh, pillbox is and they've dropped some money. Yeah, just a 20p. Alright, let's hunt around and see if we can't find any more. And it's suspendable. Alright, we've got another tone here. It's in the 80s. Really nice, strong tone. Alright. Let's find out what that is. Alright, high 50s. 53, 54. A little bit of tin fall next to it was putting me right off the tone, but just worked around it and boom. Nice little D buckle. Don't mind finding the old buckles. So there was definitely occupation on here at some point then. Let's carry on. Oh, we seem to be finding 20 pence pieces at the moment. 60p I've got now. Yeah, just another 20p. Funny old tone they give off when it was going to be another 20 pence piece. Oh well, finds a find. Hmm. Walking birds forward, you're getting a few tones at the moment though, they seem to be 20 pence pieces. Or 55, 56. Right in front of the coil, just there. Let's find out what that is. As you see, high 50s. Jump slightly. Ball cap. I mean, down the beach, down the beach, I can always tell what tone these give off. But when you're in a field, totally different because they can come up as the same as hammered coin as a 50. The backing tone is slightly different, but there you have it. Stop him for five minutes. Check out that scenery. It's absolutely beautiful. Now I've been thinking over the last few weeks um, about insane difference of the videos and to my YouTube channel. So keep your eye out because in the next few weeks um, we're going to be doing something, changing something about a little bit. So keep your eye out for that. But we ain't doing too bad so far. We're just keeping to the heel. We'll be backwards and forwards, side on. And then uh, just sort of coming backwards and forwards really. It's just working around it. Grass is a little bit long. But we're not doing too bad so far. So we're going to get a drink. Stop for five. Don't get me wrong. The mode I'm in, you do pick up some bits of iron. Especially if you've got some bits of iron in the field. But especially when they're big bits like that. Come up about 22. It does have a grunty tone. But as I say, when the grass is slightly long, I like to dig them all. And that's what that was. 35, 36, grunty kind of tone. As I got it close to surface, it went to a 64, 65, and check this out. Looks like a button to me. But I can see a bit of pattern on the front of that button. Oh. Shank on the back. And let's have a look. Oh, look at that. See, we've still got some silver gilding on it. Now, I found one of these the other day. Because I remember having the, uh, it's sort of like a dragon's head and you've got a lion there at the back. I did have one of these the other day but that one's still got some silver gild on it. It's not a silver button. It's not a silver button, as I say it's just silver gilded. But check that out, oh what a stunning find that is, I like that. I do like finding buttons and that is absolutely stunning. We'll get a few stills of that, we'll put it up. Oh uh, what an absolute belting find that is. Another tone here. It's in the eighties. Really nice, strong tone. All right. Let's find out what that is. Uh, there's my second one of the day now. It's down there. Another D buckle. Second one of the day. Another little tones that they give off though. High eight is there, you see there by the screen. Really solid tone. 
And that's what it was. Well, you seem to be finding 20 pence pieces at the moment. 60p I've got now. Yeah, just another 20p. Funny old tone they give off when it was going to be another 20 pence piece. Oh well, finds a find. Oh, we've got it out. As you see there, real high, high numbers. Piece of farming machinery. I think that goes on one of those seeding machines, that bit. Six. Right in front of the coil, just there. Let's find out what that is. It's uh, the second one of the day now. It's down there. Another D buckle. Second one of the day. Lovely little tones that they give off though. High eight is there, you see there by the screen. Really solid tone. And that's what it was. Uh, so we're not doing too bad. Still running in the pill box. Really, really dull irony tone that was. Just a 2p. Found a few uh, spendables, but mind you, there's uh, some caravans behind me, so no doubt that these have uh, probably come from there. Oh well. Tell you what, finding some weird old bits down here. No idea on that. Definitely got to be off a farming machine, a bit of farming machine, we were saying. Oh, there they go. Oops, getting the light. Yeah, I don't think it's that old. Yeah. Right, let's carry on. Alright, now we're in the bottom field. Uh, we weren't too bad at the top, we had that nice button, a few little bits. Uh, grass was quite long in places, so it did get quite hard. First target in this field, that is for a catapult. Because you can tell that what they do is they make loads into a big square and just take one off at a time, put in your catapult and shoot it. Yes, that's a catapult shot that. But what we're going to do is, we're just going to give it half an hour in here, just have a little wander about. See what we can't find over there and maybe just over there. But I'm not going to uh, attack it in any certain way. I'm just going to really just walk around really. Go that way first and then maybe over into the middle. Who knows, that's the first target in the second field. We've had a few finds from this bottom field. It's probably going to be one of our last targets. Really high 60 tone there. A really nice backing tone as well there. Alright, it's just in front of the coil there. Dig it out. Alright, just see it pop out. And there it is. Just a bullet. Find a lot of these on this field. We walked up there. Had a few little finds up there and that. Not really a lot off this field at the moment. We have had a hammered coin off here. And uh, that was just a. Uh, over there near the other side which will uh, come up in this video at some point if not it'll be in my next video but that's probably going to be my last target of the day we're going to go home because we're absolutely starving so right thanks ever so much for joining me every single week or every other couple of weeks when i've got a video out but hopefully the next um video we'll have out we might be on a different bit of land or if not we'll be down the beach we're going to give the beach another try again but right that's the last target we're off home and I will catch you at the next.